Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're doing a, a Q&A, so thank you for participating and sending over your questions in on Instagram. A lot of you guys have been wondering, how are we doing? We're gonna answer that today. And um, yeah, you got anything? I, for once, took a little peek at the questions, because normally I go into this blind. Uh, but I didn't see them all, so I guess let's go find out what kind of questions you all asked. Thank you uh, again for sending them in. Mm -hmm. First question from Anna, who said I love you first. Me. Okay, no. Me. Yes, no. yes, yes, yes. No. I technically said it first. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I did. No, you said you were falling in love with me. Oh, okay. okay. He told me he was falling in love with me first. I was too scared to say it first because I didn't know if he was on the same page. This is a big question, dude, to rip it off with. This is gonna be a juicy Q&A. Yeah, <laughs> um, but then oh. he thought I said I love you late, like a month later. I'm pretty sure I did. I but I didn't say it and then I was like, but I actually do love you. There you go. I still think I said it, but whatever. <laughs> no, I technically did. Um, Brian Stevens, we know Kyle likes gaming. Casey, what's a hobby you have off camera? That's a good question. Ooh. Um. Do I have a hobby? Honestly, I just love to watch Netflix and movies. You used to make. Um. Oh, I used to make stickers, but I don't really have time for that at the moment. To be honest, I work kind of a lot. And then with vlogging, I don't have a ton of extra free time other than just hanging out with Kyle. But I like it that way. I like to stay busy. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all going to Tokyo Disneyland? No plans yet, but we really want to. Casey's already been, but we really want to together. Obviously, we want to go. We want to go everywhere together. Yeah. Um, are you two planning on coming to California again? <clears throat> Yes. I would love to go. And no, um, I kind of have a trip. I have several trips actually planned this year, but I actually just asked Casey before this, like, you want to go? So we'll see, we'll see. It's in, hopefully in the works. Yeah, I don't have any solid California plans yet, but I hope to make it happen soon. Casey, do you feel like going? you go to the parks more than before dating Kyle? Um, Yes and no. I would say like a year ago, I wasn't really going to the parks as often as I do now. But before the pandemic, I was going all the time because I interned with Disney and it was kind of mm. just like the thing to do with your friends. But we go a lot. We do go a lot. Mostly mm -hmm. on the, the weekends or at night. Yeah. Because Casey works during the day. Mm -hmm. Flying, driving or sailing? Well, flying. 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 I don't know. That was a random question. I thought I'd throw it in there. <laughs> you know what? I've been trying to get Casey to do this forever. You and Casey should go to Universal more often. I want to see more videos over there. So do I. Casey doesn't have an annual pass yet, but HHN tickets did technically just drop, so we're going to be going for HHN. We're still deciding what ticket we're going to get, but I'm trying to get her an annual pass, so we'll see. Again, I'm not against Universal. I'm just more of a Disney girl. I, I do miss going, though, so I would like to go soon. And Halloween Horror Nights, I'm ready for you. How long have we officially been together? Well, I can tell you we've almost officially known each other for a year. Um, when we made it official, it's still a mystery for you guys, but. Yeah, but we were like pretty all in from the beginning. So yeah. even though we didn't make it officially official for a few months. Your boy knew. I knew too. Your boy knew. We I was like, I was like, our dating oh. apps after like what our second date. I and you brought it up. I brought it. Up. I was like, I'm, I'm done. I was like, I'm not even using it. So. Um, what does Casey do for work? You guys are so great together. You don't have to go into specifics. Just you know. Yeah, I work in events, so I do a lot of that, but with Disney specifically. So cool. Favorite thing to do together. Do you, anything come to mind for you? Uh, my favorite thing to do, honestly, is just, I love just being at home, just hanging out and just watching Netflix. We're both homebodies, believe it or not. Yes. We are yes. both homebodies, for sure. But I was going to say travel. Like, I love traveling with you. Oh, yeah. I love doing that, too. I mean, I love vlogging with you. We spend a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys see a fraction of our lives, meaning, like, we're not always recording. Not no. always. If it's, like, a full day of recording, yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff we do off like, camera. 
10% of our life, or my life at least. What were your guys' college majors? You wanna go first? I was marketing. I honestly really never used it. I mean, you could say I used it for YouTube in a sense, but I'm all self-taught here on YouTube. Everything is what I've learned from over a decade of just being on here. So, yeah. I double majored in hospitality management and event management at Rosen College, UCF. UCF. And I am oh, nice. using my degree. We also vlogged at UCF not too long ago. We that did. was fun to reminisce. And we just mm. we have, I have to take you to Rosen College though, because it's actually on a separate campus and main campus. It's right by the new Epic Universe actually. Mm -hmm. um, but you saw my campus too when we were just in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Do we have any cruises coming on up? I will take this one over. I got okay. this one. Yeah, go for it. We technically have some planned, not for this year. They're all next year. And I have like four of them already booked. Four mm -hmm. of them. I don't know, comment down below. Do you guys want to see a cruise this year? We haven't really cruised after our last one out of Tampa. Yeah. That was literally our last cruise. Well, we did what, three in like two months? That was a lot for me. It was a lot, it was a lot Not of Not saying I don't want to go cruising again. I just, you know, I have a full-time job still, so it's hard for me to make all of the trips work. For now, for now. No um, <laughs> favorite date night location. I I don't know why I always like Columbia here in Celebrations, yeah. which is actually where I wanted to go for dinner tonight. We still have to take you guys there because we always say we want to go there and take you. Um, but us being homebodies tonight, we're going to film this and kind mm -hmm. of probably just cook a dinner off camera. See, we do things off camera. A lot of things off camera. <laughs> what about you? Uh, my favorite date night spot is Hollywood Studios. Oh, baseline and just... Baseline and fantastic. <laughs> mm. That was just like the last time. I know. That was your favorite? I loved it. Actually, the Fantasmic part is my favorite show, but I, I guess like the waiting for Fantasmic. That was a free like. date too, man. I guess I don't have to pay for dates anymore. Okay. When you got your annual pass. Cool. All right, noted. Well, baseline. We gotta go to baseline though, so there's That's some true. money involved. Has Casey liked this new influencer life? She seems like she's made for it. She honestly <laughs> really does. I feel like sometimes you're like, you're better than I am. No. Yeah. Like you're no. just like, like I, I go back to like, Laura's a prime example. Laura, it took forever, Laura, to warm up to the camera, but you're just like instantly so good. Thanks. And so natural. It's not like, it's not common. I took a while too. Hmm. That's good to know actually. That makes me feel good. Um, this this life's I wouldn't say I'm an influencer though. That's that's all I feel like you're I mean, more of a You 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 tell people what to get all the time, like with, with, with what you're wearing, what you have on. That they're more interested in you than me of what I'm wearing, I'll tell you that, because I have like well, two things. Actually that's not too hard. <laughs> She's doing good. But I really do enjoy this this lifestyle. This has been really fun. It is fun. Mm -hmm. More to come. More to come. What did Casey think of Port Washington? I loved Port Washington. That was so much fun. That's when I went to the farmer's market. Uh -huh. And just in general, I, I had a great time and I already want to go back. It was beautiful. It was yeah. really nice. The weather was perfect. We really lucked out because the day after we left, I think what, it was going in the 90s or yeah, something. Yeah, it was the same year. Yeah. It would have been different heat. It was just nice. Different I love the heat, smells. But still, it was, the weather was perfect. I just, again, I love the calm atmosphere. But when it. am I meeting her family? I do Hello. know a question is in here. It's in here, we'll find out soon. Would you guys consider hosting a group cruise? You know, this is actually a very common question. If you guys don't know what a group cruise is, it's basically we, we partner with like a travel agent, we partner with somebody and we get you discounted rates and we all go on a cruise together. This has been on my mind forever, but it really hasn't really developed it might happen, I'm not saying it's not gonna happen, but we have no plans. We think it would be really fun for like a three day cruise and we all kind of just go and hang out together. It would be exhausting for sure. Um, but that'd be pretty interesting and really fun to do. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. I think so too. Um, where'd y'all meet? Bumble. Bumble, shout out to you Bumble, there's your free advertisement. Um, hardest part about dating a vlogger. That's a good one. Mm. A lot of these are for you. Yeah, I, I know, I wasn't prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the hardest part is, I wouldn't say it's a difficulty now for me, but in the beginning, it was just a little bit of an adjustment. Cause this, this is not for everybody. Not everyone would be comfortable with shoving, not shoving a camera, but you know, <laughs> having a camera on outings and things like that. But that's something that I 
they really didn't take long for me to become accustomed to. Um, I mean, you grew up with your dad making home videos all the time too, in a sense, well, but like that's basically not, what this I mean, is. Yes, but not like, I don't remember that all that much. True. So. I don't really feel like there is much of a difficulty. This is, so keeping on this, are you ever bothered by me filming all the time? No. Never? No, I know we've addressed this before, but you've always, like even tonight, like I said, I was really tired because I just came home from work and he was like, you know, we had plans to, to vlog tonight and he was like, you know, we don't have to do this tonight if you don't want to. I'm like, yeah, let's just do it. If if anything, you, it's me sometimes who's always cautious about it. Yes, you're very I, cautious. I'm like, hey, we don't have to film this. We don't have to do this. Are you mm -hmm. okay? You know, it's my job. I mean, you could even, we haven't even done this in a while. What? Remember beforehand, you were always there. When I was vlogging, we've never done that. We haven't done that in forever. But there's always what the question. Remember when like you, we would hang out and yeah. I would just vlog? Mm -hmm. Like. We've never done that, but like what I'm saying is like, I'm always just, I feel like I'm the one that is more cautious about it. Yeah. Just cause I always care about how she's me. feeling. Yeah. Cause I know it's not her job, but it's my job, but I feel like you're understanding. I'm very understanding, very supportive of it. And obviously I wouldn't be on the vlogs if I wasn't supportive of, of this for you. So. We got a winner, chicken dinner. I'd say so, don't you think? Don't you say? Don't you think? All right, getting into a juicy one. Oh, goodness. Do you guys ever talk about getting married or just clickbait for views? We really, I, we're serious, you guys. We really are. We really are. I, um, I wouldn't even say that like, we've clickbaited that for views. I mean, okay. Well, I mean, we had the cool thumbnail. <laughs> it's all fun and games for like, us, but like, we're serious. Yeah. And um, we're not quite ready to actually get married at this point in time. No way, Jose. Not no. saying it a bad way. It's just no, real. I know. I mean, we're still young and we've only been together for about a year mm -hmm. and we want to live together first. If but, that happens, who knows? Is it going to be I know you guys asked about that question too. <laughs> Oops. But there's, there's just a lot more that we have to experience with each other. We're with each other all the time. So I, I know we're a great fit, but I'm not trying to get married tomorrow. So Same. It's, just, it's fun to dream about it. All things in good time. It's not clickbait. Exactly. It's we're, not. We're always pretty honest with you guys, mm -hmm. just because a lot of you guys are just curious and how our relationship relationships developing. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been good. It's been it's really been, good. Yeah. It really has. We don't really fight. We don't fight much. We'll get in disagreements and then we'll be like, okay. Moving on. We are so quick to apologize if we get into like the smallest little Debacle. Yeah, debacle. Debacle. Well, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, we're so quick to be like, okay, I'm over it. I'm sorry. Let's move on. Yeah. We were. Our communication is amazing. Since you're moving out soon, will you be getting a puppy? Unfortunately, not. But I would be getting a golden retriever. That's more of like a house thing. Um, but hey, never say never. I already came up with our future golden retriever's name. What is it again? Tater Tot. <laughs> I think it's so cute. I've always wanted a dog named after food. Ramen, noodle, tater tot, bagel. I don't know. Bacon? No. <laughs> no, that one doesn't Okay. Know. Um, Favorite cruise moment with each other. By the way, can't wait for the treasure to come out. Either can I. I'm going to be on that inaugural as soon as they announce it, for sure. So you can count on me for that. But um, I think our favorite, my favorite cruise together has been the Virgin one. Mine too, Hands 100%. Best I ship. think my favorite moment from that, was it asking for a favorite moment? Um, karaoke. Oh, that was fun. It was so much fun. I just loved the whole thing. Honestly. Yeah, it was such a good time. If you guys can go on Virgin Voyages, definitely do it. Do it. Good it's, time. It's worth it times a thousand. But it's adults only, so sorry kid. Any plans for visiting another all-inclusive resort? Yes, that is in the works, but that is all I can say. Stay tuned, stay tuned. When are you meeting her parents? Ooh! Well, I'm meeting her dad. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually meeting her dad next week. So soon. And my palms are sweaty. Right now? Yeah, just thinking about it. Really? I gotta have a beer or two when we're meeting him, but like, hey! Oh my gosh, my dad is so excited to meet him. And I know it has taken a long time, but my dad is a pilot and he sort of recently started a new job, so it's been hard for him to get away. Um, and it's we don't crazy. live in the same state, so it's not like we can drive. I grew up in South Florida, so it would have been easier. We lived like three hours away. 
But not anymore. We don't know if we're gonna film it. Probably not the first Probably initial not. thing. But we'll let you know the play-by-play. -play. Well, we'll just stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. I have a little hidden camera somewhere. You know, <laughs> Stop Just it. from my archives. <laughs> <laughs> There's no... It's hard for me not to yeah. film stuff, but I, know, I, I, I like ha like like I yeah. can't. I don't know if I can film that, guys. But there's no current plans on meeting the rest of my family mm -hmm. at the moment. Not yet. Nope. How often do you fly Spirit? This is an MCO based Spirit pilot. No way. That's so cool. Um, whenever it's you know cheaper than Southwest, which is usual. I don't mind flying Spirit. They're, the actually, seats are just really uncomfortable compared to Southwest, but it they had a lot of space, so. You know, from time to time. So after, because I've only flown Spirit one other time other than this weekend, and then that was my first time flying Southwest. I must admit, Southwest gave me a bit of anxiety not having an assigned seat, so I would prefer to fly Spirit. I sure, I just like the Southwest seats. Yeah, I do too, but I, I don't have a problem with Spirit. Fair enough. Will you move back to Wisconsin eventually? That is a hard no. <laughs> that's a hard no. I didn't have to think about I, that. Yeah, that, that's all I got. That's all I got. Um, I think we've got a lot of double questions here. So, have you thought about a separate channel with the two of you, but keeping the Disney vlog? I mean, not really. Don't really, doing a whole second channel is a lot of work. You gotta get it monetized. I mean, it'd be interesting to see how many of you guys would transfer on over there. Maybe we had a podcast, that's something I thought about, having a podcast channel. Um, I love listening to podcasts, but I feel like it's just it's too much to juggle when you're a one-man show. It's, it's a lot. I I think at this point in time, you know, with my full-time job and... For now. <laughs> stop. There's no plans, <laughs> no plans to quit my job, everyone. I um, keep joking about this. <laughs> do you uh, like the drink package on Royal Caribbean ships? Do you feel they are worth it? Yes. I used to get them. I don't do them anymore. I don't really drink much on cruises anymore. <laughs> But like, I will drink just one day hardcore and the rest I'm like, ah, I'm done. This is the thing though, I think it's worth it. I've only ever done it one time, but what I liked about it is you're not only confined to just having alcohol. So I went on the Allure of the Seas seven nights and I would go in the morning and get a juice. I would go and get, I don't know, a smoothie or something like that. You get a specialty coffee. You can, you can use it to your advantage. So I think it's worth it, especially if you do like to drink alcohol. Yeah. 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 So you get a good deal on them because sometimes the drink package can be expensive. Um, I think we had this question right Are you excited for the Disney treasure? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Can't wait. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, are you going to try to go on the first trip to the new Disney ship sales? Yeah. Dang. Lots of people want to know about the Disney cruises. You guys, I love... Disney Cruises. Also, by the way, I think I finally figured out how to explain how the Disney Wish smells. I told you this the other day. Kind of smells like when a girl washes her hair and it just smells good like that. It smells like wet shampoo. It just smells great. Anyways, Kyle, how big is your apartment? Are you getting excited to be in your on a little to be living on your own? Absolutely. But I'm not giving any details on that place because you're gonna have to wait and see. It's, I'm really excited. I am counting the days for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's bittersweet, but I, I literally cannot wait to live with myself. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. More home vlogs for sure at home. More fun activities. It's, it's gonna be fun time. These are so good from the one and only Casey's gas station in Wisconsin. Yeah, they're really good. We also have these ones too. We brought snacks for this Q&A because we thought we'd be hungry because mm -hmm. we technically are since we're gonna be eating dinner after this. But mm -hmm. will you keep the jump around in your videos? I do. I honestly only do it when you guys like bring it up. And a lot of you guys love it. So when you, you say mm -hmm. hi to me, make sure um, you ask me and jump around because I usually don't ask people. Oh my gosh, you're so good. Uh, good? Yeah. That was amazing. It's a little too hard though. Not only a good name, but good product. This is a good one. You're gonna like this one. This is really hard to chew. You're gonna be chewing that forever, by the way. Mm, good flavor though. Mm. When you furniture shop, does Casey also pick out what you want? Because yes. you might be living together one day. <laughs> I can't help it, but when he picks things out, I'm like, would I like that? Uh, I, I, I can there? tell too, because she'll be like, mm, I want this, this is this would fit, fit you a little bit better. No, 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 no. 
And I'm okay. She acts. She has good taste versus like I don't even. I'm like I don't know what yeah. go together. This he doesn't looks even nice. want pillows for a couch. No, I I didn't grow up with pillows on couch. That Did is you hear loud. That? Holy cow! Someone's revving their engine. Goodness. Um. Yeah, she does definitely help because. <clears throat> are we moving in together? The answer is no. <laughs> Right now, so, I think we've told you guys before, but we have been talking geez. about it more. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's gonna be more next year than this year, if that mm -hmm. happens. Which Definitely. We think it's gonna be a good test. You know, I think we've seen some of you guys' comments how you said couples who live together, you know, don't end up getting married. I mean, you can make an argument for everything. Yeah, you, uh, you mm -hmm. gotta test ride your car before you buy it, right? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah. Also, I'm would only want to move in with you if I know that a commitment is relatively around the corner. Which, what? Does that scare you? What commitment are you talking about? <clears throat> this is my left hand, by the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm not ready for that yet. I would say we're on the same, we're on the same timeline. Or not timeline, I'm not saying we definitely it's like are a ticking too. time bomb, but like, we are. And we've we've talked about Casey, like, you know, if that commitment happens, mm -hmm. come live your life with me, mm -hmm. um, maybe potentially work with me. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I, we're, we're, we're serious guys, we really yeah. are. And I've never, had a, I've never had a relationship like this when it's just like, you know, you talk serious and you, it just feels right, so. Same. Yeah. Ditto. Ditto. That was okay, moving on. What is a bucket list trip you want to do together? I'll go first, I'll go first. I want to go to Europe and go to Germany That's and have some beer beer and just go to Germany and go all to the, like, the historic World War II locations and just experience Europe, have a whole Europe trip. Mm -hmm. And mine is Greece. I have been dreaming about going to Greece. That'd be a fun trip. Yes. 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 Um, speaking of serious, how many kids do you want? I know you said two, but what? It, what? It, but, but if it, it's the same sex on both, let me rephrase this. What gender do you want? Well, two kids max. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I personally, well, I feel like everybody wants this: a girl and a boy. Yes. And if I don't get a girl and a boy. If I get two the same, I'm trying for a third. Are you really? Heck yeah. Are you for real? If I get two boys, I'd re I want a girl for sure. Aw. I want a girl. I mean, I do too, but I think I think that I'd be good at two. No matter oh, what. guys, I don't know. This, we might need yeah, to have some conversations. Gotta have some conversations. There. Why don't we have it right this now? Is news let's, to let's me. entertainment. Let's entertain them. You really want three kids? Yeah. I don't. If I have two girls, I want a boy. Someone's got to carry on Palo. And if I have two boys, I need a girl. I can't have three boys. Girls can keep their last name. I mean, they could. True. Mm-hmm. Three if we have two the same. We'll talk. We're talking right now. <laughs> I think that's a more of a if it happens kind of situation. Because <clears throat> I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Maybe if I have two boys, I'm gonna wear my slippers. I am, they barely fit. Mm. Um, Wait, but if I have, if I have two boys, I'm, I'm probably gonna be a little sad that I don't have a Exactly, call. so, so you'll be like three I yes. feel like in, in a situation like that, we can, talk, we can talk. Isn't it hard to develop a true relationship when you're in front of the camera so much? We're not in front no. of the camera that much. You know what I would think would be really hard in a relationship? Like I've thought about this. So imagine we just get in like a, like a fight. Like we haven't gotten like mm. a huge fight and then you turn the camera on. That's when I think it can get very toxic. And I don't yeah. want to ever be fake on camera. I don't ever want to fake be happy, which I never really ever am. Yeah. But some days are harder than others. Like, you know, it's just, you know, I have a daily show. Um, that's what I think could go wrong. You know what I mean? But we, mm -hmm. we talk about it all the time. Yeah, but I think that's where we set boundaries though, is if we, like I, we mentioned, like we don't fight or bicker all that much. But when we do, we like to talk about it right then and there. So I think we would, resolve our issue before turning the camera back on. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, there, it's always a balance, it's always a balance. Yeah. I think I told my brother that and he, he's like, you guys don't fight yet? 
yeah. <laughs> one day. <laughs> Maybe when we live together. Casey, what was your pickup line for Kyle? I already know it. And so, it's really not a pickup Remember, line. Remember, I'm bumbly, girls have to slide first. <clears throat> yeah, so she, she knows how it goes. Um, So on his profile, he had a few pictures of him at Disney. And I didn't, ha didn't have a single picture of me at Disney. Not a single one. So like you wouldn't think that I like Disney, but that was on my list of like I want someone who likes Disney and want them want it to be a huge part. So I was perfect like, guy. Check. I know. Crazy, huh? What'd you say? What'd you say? So I said big Disney guy question mark. And that was it. I think the you rest said is history. The exact words were big Disney guy, huh? You said huh. Oh, huh. And then question mark. Yeah. Mm. And then so. we started talking about Disney, and that's when I found out he was Disney obsessed. A, yeah, it was Disney obsessed and- Disney adult. <laughs> it was a YouTuber. <laughs> when are you taking Casey Universal and dropping a Universal vlog? We were technically already answered that, but- Yeah, soon. Um, soon. Maybe at HHN we can actually go on rides uh, too. Yes, I was gonna say, I feel like the fir the next Universal vlog that I'll be in or the first one in your channel will yeah. be Halloween Horror Nights. Speaking of that, can we get the Express please? We'll talk. We're talking right now. <laughs> It's a lot of money for Express. I will cover. I, want to I will do... cover whatever you don't want. I'm telling you. Well, if that's the case, then I'm I'm inclined. We need the Express. That is the worst part about Halloween Horror Nights is lines. having to wait in lines. This year's gonna like, be crazy. I was Stranger Things and what's the other one? Oh, Last Lady, of Us and Last of Us and Lady Gaga, right? And I think yeah. Chucky too. Chucky. The Last of Us is insane. Really creepy. I really think Express is gonna be a must this year. They're not gonna camp anything. They want to make money. They really, really meant it when they put Stranger Things in the mix. <laughs> yep. Um, this is a great question, by the way. Will Casey attend a Packers game this year? Like the only, the biggest question with Casey always, it's never a question with me. Can she get off? That's why most of her trips are weekend trips, because yeah. she get you know, like we we pretty much diluted all her vacation time. No, we actually haven't. But it's really? funny because yeah. Oh. But I have to Where do you want to go next week? Some of it. Hey, hey, hey. Disneyland. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, if we never ever have to worry about this, there is so much in the works for next year, it's gonna blow your mind. Like so much. This year, not so much because I wanna keep traveling with Casey. Um, but more so with my family. There is a big trip in the works at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, November, December. So stay tuned for that. But if something that I'm working on right now, it theoretically get in the works this year, but I might push it off till next year. Next year, we might go full blown travel for a while. But again, Me? hopefully. <laughs> you said you need a commitment, so I'll give you one. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And that commitment is to come to come travel with me. Is that a commitment? No, I'm just blah, blah. kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just being, I'm just being weird. Um, yeah. Um, I actually have had a few people like message me on Instagram asking how I have so much time off and I really don't. Mm. That's, that is why we do a lot of weekend trips. I'm tired because we travel That's why I stay around patient. my full time job, but it is worth it and I'm loving it. The hard show. I do take days off here and there, but. That's why staycation much. Sundays are on Sundays because we actually film those obviously on Saturday. Saturday yeah. So she can enjoy it. Um, mm -hmm. Some days I'll have to do it during the week. Yeah, because most um, of the but, time I don't work the weekends. Mm -hmm. I, for the most part, work a standard nine to five during the week. Yeah, um, and that's it. Um, I hope we answered a lot of your guys' questions. We're, we're doing good. That was kind of just like, this is kind of just mm -hmm. like another Q and A. I don't really do these too much anymore. It's usually just with you. Um, I did want to address the P.O. box as well. I might reopen it, I might not, but it's just gonna be a little bit later and I really do apologize. I just, you know, felt like it was right time. It was just kind of coming on up and I had to make a last second decision. I'm sorry if you guys did start sending stuff, like I apologize, it will probably come back to you guys, which kind of does break my heart. Um, it, was a, it was a long run, long run. My first P.O. box was 2000 and, um, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 19. Yeah. Yeah. Because I graduated in 2018, so it's 2018. It's been a run. Yeah. Um, Just also so, with the move, it made yeah, sense to. Yeah, it's way over there. It. And yeah. And hopefully there's going to be a new one closer here. We'll see if we do. I don't yeah. really know yet, but um, thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for sending in questions. Mm -hmm. We'll be uh, back inside the parks tomorrow. And then, before you guys know it, 
Staycation Sunday. Wait, the one on Friday, Saturday? Yeah, that should be tomorrow. Staycation Sunday. Cool. Oh, yeah. not Yeah. So this goes up on Saturday? Saturday, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, guys. We'll Thank see you ya. so much. Hope you guys have a great day and a great Sunday tomorrow because it's Staycation Sunday, baby. Favorite day of the week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I got stuffy. I don't know why. It's the pretzels. Oh, yeah, that's right.